think this hand's pretty respectable. Here's the crow fist. I like to pick up probably a two drop. That way I can coin Twilight Drake and then and then tap for tap again, like tap plus watcher or something. Or even a Sun Fury. Although I guess this is way better. Playing the uh, turn one here with two drakes. If I knew I had both, maybe I shouldn't have done it. It should still be okay though, two four sevens. If I didn't play this, I guess I would have had two four eights. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem too much different actually. That's a pretty big threat. Uh, I think I'm gonna be moral calling it. With two moral calls, I can double moral call tap here instead of playing the other drake Check if I have a demon. That would probably be my best if I have a demon. I don't. I think this is better than the Sludge Belcher because with Spell Power out, I think it's harder for him to kill. A little bit stronger minion. I'd really like to pick up Argus. It'd be so good here. Otherwise, I'm going to be leaving that guy up. Normally, the Violet Teacher list, Rogue lists are more control oriented, a little bit less. Like aggro, the shredder ones, like, I don't know, they're almost the same, but usually I think Violet Teacher lists don't run SI, I mean, Van Cleef. So maybe I can just silence the 1 1 to make it. Actually, let me just tap first. Well, I could have saved this to activate the Watcher, actually, but I have Shadow Flame as well. I just feel like he was kind of running low on cards. Getting that one card might be pretty big. Interesting. It's really important to play a taunt against, like a like a four two dagger. If you just play non taunters it makes it really easy for him to hit you and then Blade Flurry. So for example, Dr. Boom here. Like this forces, for example, a sap before the Blade Flurry. Doesn't seem like he's attacking. I wonder if I'm just dead. <laughs> the better help you prep. Okay. So I have to heal. Even, like, the heal is more important than the taunt. I'm at three. I died at one. Wait, wait, wait. So let's do this. One of this three. I had to play BGH first. Not really trying to save BGH here. He's already used both Sharps or Royals as well. Like, Sharps or Royals was, was one of the ways I can BGH something. Like, the Sharps or Royal Lotho, but... I don't think I have to be worried about too much charge damage here. So I don't really need a taunt. It's more about... Burn damage like at this rate because he's used both sharp sword rolls, so there shouldn't be too much weapon damage coming from here on. Maybe a little bit. So I just want to get down some taunters. Taunter, taunting here is just like the most important thing for me now. He has no more AoE with both sharp sword rolls gone, both blood flares gone. I don't want to taunt up the Belcher because it, it already has taunt, so.
Yeah, I'm gonna go for the four drops. Okay, so I'm looking at this priest deck from China, although it's in Chinese. <laughs> Wait, what? There's no cards here. <laughs> oh, there are cards. Okay, I can't read that. So yeah, I went over this last time I played Handlock actually while streaming. But with this kind of hand, since I really need to tap as much as possible, I don't have any drops. Um, and because I have a zombie chow, I like just coin tapping turn one. So I can tap turn two and play the chow, tap turn three. That way I get the most amount of taps in. Depends how confident you are of drawing a four drop, saving your coin. But by not developing the Chow early, the problem is he gets to stack armor sometimes. And it's not too bad, I still get him down to two armor, so. Wow, double light bomb. Wow, Giblin Stalker. Oh wow, this is a totally different kind of priest deck. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I saw Savits actually play it. I think I'm, I would be more comfortable playing a priest deck like this than like a very spell heavy control one. Just like the my style, I guess. It's a 1-1 one, one Acolyte. I don't think I'm gonna kill it because I can peel armor off. Like you can't snowball a 1-1 one, one Acolyte. There's no way to whirlwind it. I mean, it just dies, so wait a minute. That does still draw my card. I was like, Cruel Taskmaster is pointless. Actually, yeah, let's do this. And just go face. Because it gives me a chance of not bringing the Drake to execute range. 410 is so hard for me to deal with, with Shield Slam even. Um, it's basically execute that I'm, that I'm weak to, so. I guess that's not the worst. That could have got Black Knighted for me. If he's running Black Knight and Warrior. So this is actually a really good Dread Infernal turn. It's, like, it, it's perfect. I think I will do it. The only problem is this This is my only demon. Right now, so if I do top deck a Void Caller, it will be a little bit awkward without a demon. But that's one of the reasons why I, like, I really like Dread Infernal. It feels, to me, a lot more playable in Handlock as a card. Compared to Doom Guard. Let's just pressure here. If I was going to kill these 1-1s, one -ones, I should kill them before playing my other minions, but... I think that's 10 damage. 10 damage is a lot to give up to kill two 1-1s. One -ones. And a lot of times late game it comes down to like how much taunts you have at the end against Grom. I really don't want to play Sun Fury this turn. So like if I tapped, I, I would either just waste two mana or play the Sun Fury after. Like BGH tap Sun Fury or BGH tap and then just do, do nothing. This is a perfect type of scenario for me where I'm getting slowly low enough to play Moltens without being under threat of dying because I have a taunt and because I'm too high life. But the problem is um, is Brawl, so I need to like stagger them perhaps. Maybe not play both in the same turn. This Gorhal is such a big threat for me because actually I can peel off all his armor. Grom, Whirlwind, Execute, then I'd be dead. The issue is I need to save my Sun Fury for post Brawl if he has Brawl. But I might just die if I don't. I guess I'm gonna try to hope that 
One of my taunts survives a brawl. Oh, that wouldn't really help. Okay. So yeah, the way I play, I at least force him to have the brawl. If I just played, uh, didn't taunt up, I might die. But then, if he has a brawl, I'm in worse shape. I need to cycle as much as possible here with these moral coils. Unless I can kill him, which I can't. I learned my lesson from watching this weekend, or this week, gotta play quick against Belcher. I can certainly see this being risky, basically if he has Grom, Whirlwind, Execute together. Because Whirlwind perfectly kills this 1-1. One, one. I can't really think of myself having two, two taunts. Grom Cruel it wouldn't work because I still have this taunt here. Plus, plus this weapon can only kill the Molten. But if I just taunt up this turn with this Argus, that's like my last source of taunt again. And I really want to pull this guy out because now with the Void Caller out, I'm not very weak to Brawl anymore. If he Brawls here, I'll most likely get a Melganus as well as whatever survives a Brawl. It's like so much insurance here if I survive this turn. Double heal bot. The reason why I want to play this Void Caller is because I think at this point I want to force out Melganus coming out in case of uh, I get bursted after he clears these taunts. It's kind of unfortunate I drew Draxes because that, that could ruin my plan, but... If I was a little bit more careful, I probably should have killed Armorsmith as well somehow. Not, not with this 9-9, some other way. Because it was threatening my slime. All these sorts of taunts really help, so. 11. Actually, he should be dead. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 22, 122. Okay, I guess he is dead. I was just calculating Melganus move first. I don't, I don't know why. That's actually less damage. It seems like War is the easiest time going like really high mana cards because they have so many like so much armor, so you can just armor up early. I think I'm better off pressuring myself compared to by keeping Dark Bomb to try kill three threes. The way Rogue has a hard time against uh, Handlock is when you swarm them with Twilight Drakes and Void Callers. This is a little bit weird because I, I don't have a demon right now. Actually, like, let's just go ahead and tap anyways. I was thinking maybe play the Watcher and then Argus, but there's no guarantee that my Chow will survive anyways this turn. And if he if it doesn't survive, then it wouldn't it, it wouldn't even be a great Argus. So.
Unfortunately, that's kind of a must kill. I don't have a demon, but I kind of need the attack. Like, if I just play Watcher, it can't kill... It can't kill this guy. Um, he might not kill the Void, void Caller because he doesn't know whether I'm a demon or not. So it's kind of like a bluff in a way. I can trade both these into it. Uh, if he just kills Zombie Child with a spell, I can play Defender Vargas and Mortal Coil, for example, if I have this guy out instead of an Ancient Watcher. He might sap it, but then I'm not really punished for not having a demon. It is scary though that this this Watcher can, I mean, Violet Teacher can get out of control. Okay, this can certainly get really ugly now. Oh, perfect. I didn't really care about killing this one one here. Um, I was going to tap and play Watcher. Basically, I'm going to really try and tap for Hellfire right now. Or Shadow Flame. It looks like I might. Uh, it looks like I might have been taking a ton of damage, and I can just like molten Shadow Flame soon or something. I can still clear with Hellfire with the Morocco as well. So really good draw. Now at least I have another demon. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty much on the back foot this whole game. Normally at Hamlock you want to be pressuring Rogue and not the other way around. Like uh, drop scary four drops. But he got the first like Vlad Teacher out and then kind of snowballed with Sap. It was hard for me to just keep dropping Void Caller after the Sap because I didn't actually have a demon so. Good thing it's like one prep is gone. It's hard to combo Tinker Royal. I guess I don't immediately die to Tinker Roll as well. There's basically no way I can play safe this turn. No, no matter what I'm dropping, there's always going to be a risk. Unless I play heal, but that's just too weak of a play though. Uh, so I guess I'll play Dr. Boom. I also could play Void Caller plus the Watcher, which would have been alright as well. I think Boom is probably least weak to Sap though, since I have the Boom bots left over. This is kind of like a situation where like Hamlock does shine though. If you don't die, because on one hand they feel like they can just kill you, but if unless they actually have lethal, it's always super weird to bring Hamlock down to like like five life and then molten molten taunt plus heal blood combo. Bit unfortunate I didn't get the kill here, but. Okay, some burn gone. I guess we're just going bigger. Like that's our plan right now. Just go bigger than him instead of removing his board, which is probably too hard with this death rattle. Uh, I'm just gonna go bigger than him. Since he's already used a snap, I think this is better. I was like one man off from maybe, maybe playing Healbot and Argus. I definitely think I need to play the Argus so, and not just heal. Like I've just played Molten plus Healbot. Um, he has 7 damage already on board. I'm not sure. It, it just seems bad. That's big. Okay, so I'm just counting lethal at this point. Let's see. This is six damage here. Then how? What's the most amount of power I can throw out? Let's say load that plus void caller, which is eight. Six. Wait, six plus six plus eight. That's how you do it. Yeah. Twenty. Oh, that's lethal. All right. This isn't only really demon. Oh well. 
my only other demon. So yeah, this should give me lethal next turn. But even if I don't have lethal, I'm in really good shape here. Can't really die in the let that turn. Because the Hellfire should be able to finish him off. With the healing, I might not be able to finish him off, but um, if he just has to drop minions with all 9 mana, I can just Shadow Flame plus Heal Bot. He's still pretty much in terrible shape. Oh yeah, I can even Shadow Flame the Heal Bot itself. Yeah, and it's super big for me to have a taunt here, even even if I don't have another demon. Like, he doesn't know, but I, I really like having this kind of dynamic against Rogue, where you know they want a Tinker Oil plus Blade Flurry, but they always want to hit you with that one charge and then Blade Flurry, so it's always weird with, with a taunt up. I think I'm keeping Hellfire in case of Zoo. Hellfire plus Moltens are are, are are the best cards against Zoo. Oh, this is bad news for me, since my hand is, I mean, the only card I kept was Hellfire, it's just like, the cards I drew were, were pretty bad against Handlock, if it is Handlock. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly not Zoo, so... Alright, well, at least I picked up a big game hunter, but yeah, no, no Twilight Drake. I'm gonna have to just taunt this up. Actually, maybe just taunt both of them up. up. It's kind of weak to AoE, but there's, I don't know, like, which AoEs, because it's a lot of minions. It's just, these are still pretty big. I'm not sure how he would AoE this down right now. I think he has to just ignore them, play, like, whatever. Just, like, punch through them or whatever. Because he can't really sh Hellfire, that doesn't make sense. Shadow Flame doesn't really make sense. I mean, he had to kill some guy for Shadow Flame. This is certainly a really weird turn. I think I'm going to have to still play Belcher. This sets me up for a really good Shadow Flame, though. I mean, I don't think I can just pass, like, tap pass. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm just hellfiring this whole board down. Maybe one this turn, one next turn. Let me just tap first. I could have hellfired Dark Bomb the Twilight Drake. Maybe that was better. It depends. Like I was kind of planning on just hellfiring again next turn. This actually looks like a good Hellfire. I don't think. I think it's actually better for me to just Mortal Coil the Sylvanas, though. This gives me an option of like Dark Bombing this guy and just playing a creature or just uh, playing Sylvanas here. I have no time for games. And since I don't have a demon, I think it's going to be Sylvanas.
this Hellfire is looking pretty tempting. But, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm hurting my own Sylvanas here. I don't think these minions are that important, honestly. Yeah, I had to decide whether to trade or not. I don't think I'm too scared of uh, the Moltens yet, this turn. I got a thrill image from Dolmare. Hey, I love your stream so much, so educational. Cheers from France, as we say here, show Ananas. <laughs> well, thanks for the donation, Dolmare. I have never heard that phrase before. Show Ananas. I actually took French in high school, but never saw that before. I kind of feel like I need some more fuel, but it's such a weak tempo play if I just play Twilight Drake here and then play Zombie Chow. I'm still going for getting some more fuel because even if he doesn't have anything, which is very unlikely, um, that's only 9 damage. It's not really enough to kill him with no burn in my hand. Like, I can do 12 damage max next turn. I guess if he tapped you, I got 12, but that's there's no way he's not going to do anything, so... Also, like in Handlock Mirror, um, Lothab is it's actually a card where you might want to save, because Lothab like, locks down very important turns sometimes. Like at the very end, where both were playing Molten Giants and there's like this huge Shadow Flame potential. Because, you know, mol one Molten can Shadow Flame the whole board, including like two Moltens plus everything else. Okay, I do pick up this card. This is like a really important card in, in this matchup. I believe since this guy is kind of weak to slants anyways, might as well get the damage in. It kind of hits all the breakpoints anyways, like 3-5 and 3-1 here is different if he attacks here. Or if he, even if he attacks any of these. And this is still has a decent amount of health after the attack. Oh, this is um, pretty much the same deck I'm playing. <laughs> oh, if only I had a little bit more life, or less life. If I had one less life, I could go Molten, Molten, load that here after the tap. And then, that, that's what I'm talking about, like that super important load that block turn. I think I'm just going to play one, though. If I could play both, I think I would win the game, like for sure. Because Shadow Flame costs 9 this turn, and he can't play a Giant for 1 at 13. So, I don't know if he could clear both Molten Giants. One though, he can BGH, unfortunately. Although he already played the BGH. Wait, did he play the BGH already? I keep thinking like, I played a Void Caller this game already, and then Melganis. So yeah, I think so. Could be wrong, but all the games are blurring together. This is a pretty juicy hellfire. Promise hellfire hurts my own minions? Okay. Nine damage. I don't think I can die. Wow, I was actually surprisingly close to lethal. Didn't even realize. I, mean, I didn't miss that. I, didn't, I couldn't do any more damage. I could have tapped for something though. Basically, if he does Molten Shadow Flame, 
um, it doesn't like it doesn't matter that I wasted the heal on this Molten because I played Draxus anyways, I believe. So there's no point in healing me to 12, even if he does do Molten Shadow Flame. But I'm not sure if he has the second Shadow Flame. 